Hello, brothers and sisters, and welcome to another Now I See Ministry daily devotional video. My name is Brian. If the Lord impresses you, please hit that little subscribe button and click that little bell to get notifications for any new daily devotionals that we do. I want to praise the Lord for everything that he has done for us so far here at this ministry and also for you, brothers and sisters. I pray that the Lord is blessing you abundantly, even in the time of trouble that we are getting ready to come into and are currently in the many time of trouble. I want to continue with the topic of the Ten Commandments that we are currently on. And today we are on commandment number three. Now to find that, you go to your Bibles in Exodus 20, verse number seven. And God's word says, you shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. For the Lord will not hold him guiltless who takes his name in vain. So this is, this is pretty... Uh, Pretty profound even for such a small verse in the Bible especially for one of God's commandments um, since there are four commandments that deal with the way that we love God now here when it says you shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain now a lot of people just think well that just means I can't say certain things like um, you know um, G in a cuss word afterwards or um, anything in that aspect. Well, I was actually looking at a list one time where it was a list of words that most people say, you know, at the drop of a hat, you know, like geez, gee whiz, or things like that. And to look on the other side of that chart, it also showed what people were actually saying, but unknowingly were saying was actually the words that we already know is taking the Lord's name in vain. Okay, now that's just one aspect of taking the Lord's name of, in vain. But now we are going to expand on another aspect of taking the Lord's name in vain that a lot of Christians or people don't even think about. Now, whenever, um, whenever you claim to be a Christian and you profess God's word and you say the Lord is your savior, but do not reflect Christ's character or his manner and the way he dealt with people. If you deal with people in a ungodly manner, you are actually taking the Lord's name in vain. You know, so if you, you got to remember that, yes, I am a Christian. Now, don't get me wrong. We're not all perfect. All Christians are not perfect by any means. You know, but if you are constantly claiming to be a Christian, but yet live a tyrannical lifestyle, that you treat others then you are truly taking the Lord's name in vain. So brothers and sisters, that's something to be worried about and to pray about earnestly and to think about in your own life. Now, a lot of times it's easy to look into that sin mirror, you know, when you wake up in the morning and say, am I truly following God's will? Am I truly professing God's word? Am I truly reflecting God's character? These are the things that we need to consider as Christians. You know, open the Bible and see what God's character is and reflect that with your day-to-day -day life and the people that you come in contact with. Okay, so that's one thing. That is, that is like a profound thing. Actually, not just one thing, but a profound thing. Now, here at the last part of it, it says, For the Lord will not hold him guiltless who takes his name in vain. there will be a form of guilt that is giving to the people that are taking the Lord's name in vain. Or you're saying certain words that you shouldn't be. This will not hold you guiltless. Okay, there will be a form of guilt to it. Now, of course, I myself, whenever I kneel down and pray and confess my sins to the Lord, 
profess the guilt that I have for the things that I have done. And Christian, but this is how we grow in Christ. This is our sanctification process. But this verse right here shows us how we love our Father. You know, if we truly love our Father, do we take on his character and reflect that to the people with our words and with our actions? This is what it truly means to be a Christian, even though we are not perfect. Brothers and sisters, I pray this devotional has been uplifting. I know it's been powerful to me to even contemplate this. But I pray this has blessed you completely. Please check out the recipe videos and also hit the uh, subscribe button on the other side. So if you came this far, God bless you. and. Have a blessed day, brothers and sisters. Farewell.